Oh my god. I'm live. Instagram live. Holy cow. With a broadwaybox.com takeover. What's up? It's Rob McClure. Uh, I'm at the Muni. Uh, look at these people coming. Hi, everybody. Hi, lovely people. Um, what I thought I would do. Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh. Thanks for joining. Hi, folks. Hi, sweet friends. What's going on? I'll wait for everybody to get here and then I'll start our little tour. Hello. Hello, Margie Torres. Hi, friends. Shelby. Hi, sweet wave. Whoa, that's a really pretty view. I know, right? Just wait. Stick around. The views get better. Uh, hi, friends. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hi, Tahoe girl. Hello from Ohio. I love me some Ohio. Hi, Ashlyn. Hi, friends. Miss you in California. I miss California. Although St. Louis is real pretty right now. Sandy Binion. Hey, Sandy. Steve, what's up, everybody? Hey. Um, okay, so uh, here's what I thought we would do. Please continue to ask questions, uh, and I'll do my best to answer them uh, along the day. Good day, AJ Connor. Um, so here's the thing. I'm Rob McClure. Hi, friends. Uh, follow me at McClure Rob on Instagram. I'm taking over. Can't wait to see Jerome Robbins Broadway on Saturday. Thanks, Aaron. We'll see you there. Hi from Nebraska. I love me some Nebraska. Um, so here's the thing, friends. Um, I am currently out at the Muni. For those of you who don't know what the hell the Muni is, the Muni is the Municipal Opera Company out in St. Louis. It's been around for exactly 100 years. This is their centennial season. My artsy fartsy world. Hey, Rob. Hey, friend. Um, so uh, we are celebrating the first show of their centennial season, 100 years in St. Louis in Forest Park, this gorgeous, gorgeous place. So what I thought I would do is I would walk around and give you guys a virtual tour of the Muni because it's a place you guys need to know about. It is a breeding ground for amazing, amazing talent, amazing shows. It's 11,000 seats. You heard me right, not 1,100, 11,000 seats. There are two... Sing some Meet Me in St. Louis. Oh, I wish. You guys got to come. They're doing Meet Me in St. Louis for the centennial. You should come out and see it. Um, hi, everybody. Broadway Chains. What's going on? Um, okay. So, um, uh, by the way, this is my buddy Andrew Gorin. Hello. Um, Andrew and I uh, created an app called Harmony Helper, and we are currently in development of this really cool app that helps you learn how to sing and hold harmony. Uh, we, maybe more on that later. Um, but uh, Andrew came out to see the show tonight, and he's. Uh, I thought I would give him a tour of the Muni as well, so you guys can join us on our virtual tour of the Muni. Uh, let me know what questions you have. Hello, Andrew. Hi. Run all of, uh, you run all of those. Yes, I do run all of the seats. I'll do that with you guys later tonight. Uh, that's my warm-up. I know. I'm a madman. Um, hi, everybody. Hi, James. Hi, Bronte Chadwick. Hi, friends. Oh, my God, that sounds epic. Harmony app. I know, right? HarmonyHelperApp.com. Check it out. Um, hello from Quebec City. Hello. Uh, je parle français un peu, un petit peu. Uh, heck, yeah, I have the app. Can't wait for the full version. Yes, right now it's in development. It's on, your, it's, on its way. Stay tuned. Um, how do you feel about doing the first production of the show after 30 years? That's a great question. So right now I am doing Jerome Robbins Broadway. This is a show that was on Broadway in 1989 and has not been done since. Why? Because it's a huge cast. The cast is over 50 people. So what theater can afford 50 equity contracts? The Muni. The Muni can. So in th for the first time in 30 years, Jerome Robbins Broadway is being revived here. Um, what is the show? Jerome Robbins is an epic director. He directed everything that you consider the classic American musical. On the Town, West Side Story, Fiddler on the Roof, Peter Pan, The King and I, um, to name a few. There's uh, nine different shows represented in this. Hello from Japan. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Hi. Um, so uh, the show, needless to say, is epic. Um, you get everything you want. You get Small House, House of Uncle Thomas from King and I. You get the bottle dance from Fiddler on the Roof. You get a 25-minute suite of dances from West Side Story. It hits you right in all the feels. Um, and people are leaving here with tears in their eyes and a huge appreciation for the great American musical and the Muni and 100 years of history in Forest Park. Um, so let's start our little tour. This is Forest Park, y'all. It is gorgeous. It has been here forever and ever. Right now at the Muni, uh, excuse me, at the Missouri History Museum in Forest Park, they have an exhibit uh, on the history of 100 years of the Muni. We went and visited it yesterday. Um, it was overwhelming. I cried. Uh, there are pictures of shows I've been in and, and uh, things I was a part of that are now in a history section of a museum. It's really moving. Uh, West Side Story is my favorite. I know, Ashlyn. When we sing somewhere, it like makes you cry. Um, I'm so excited for Andrew because he hasn't seen it yet, and he's going to get to see it tonight. Ah! Uh, hi, Peg. Peg McKell. Um, so let me show you around the Muni, friends. Let me know what questions you have. Um, first of all, um, here is the Muni Mobile. It's got uh, all the shows this season. You, you want to see what they're doing this season? 
Andrew is cool. I know, isn't he? <laughs> um, so here's, the, uh, here's their season. Here's their 100th centennial season. Jerome Robbins Broadway. Then they are doing The Wiz. Then they are doing Singing in the Rain. Then they're doing Annie. Then they're doing Jersey Boys. Then they're doing Gypsy. And then they're doing Meet Me in St. Louis. In St. Louis. Makes sense, right? Uh, that is one hell of a season, and it's a huge season. Um, let me show you around this gorgeous place. Uh, coming, Margie Torres? Who is? Hi, guys. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Singing in the Rain. I know. And it's going to pour. They're going to actually make it rain uh, on this gorgeous stage. Something's coming. Something good. I see what you did now. Gypsy, I know. Guess who's playing Gypsy here, y'all? Beth Level. That is going to be sick. Beth is a hero of mine. We did Hello, Dolly! out here together. Um, hi, Sophie. How are you? Um, so get a look at this gorgeous, gorgeous place. The Municipal Theater, the Muni in St. Louis. Let me show you guys around. Let me know if you, the, what stuff you guys want to see. Uh, so I can show you around. I'm going to Annie and Jersey Boys. Awesome. I guarantee they're going to be amazing. Look at this gorgeous uh, tile mural they did on the floor. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And look at this. I love Beth. I know. I know. Will there be videos of it? There's a video of Jerome Robbins Broadway, a little highlight reel that's currently on YouTube. Check the Muni's channel, M-U-N-Y. Coming in July. Super cool. Thanks, Christine. Sophie, everything. Margie, whoa. I know. Um, here's the box office with all of the amazing shows coming up and all these gorgeous statues. You know how in some places they like tell you that there was history and some places you can just feel it? Here's one where you can feel it. Um, there's all these gorgeous fountains. Laura Frosty. Hi, Laura. How are you? Tell me this place isn't gorgeous. Now, here's the crazy thing about the Muni. Uh, what is your job? Ashlyn, my job? I'm an actor. Uh, I've, uh, it's a beautiful space, Margie. Yes, it is. I'm an actor. I play um, the setter, which is the role that Jason Alexander uh, originated on Broadway and won a Tony for it. Uh, I basically set the stage for all of these different shows. I uh, love St. Louis. How's the weather? It's gorgeous. It's a little warm, but that's uh, the Muni. Guys, uh, here's some of the cast of Jerome Robbins Broadway. Yo, this is uh, broadwaybox.com. What's up? This is our crazy, talented cast of Jerome Robbins Broadway, y'all. What's up? What's up? That's Victor Weishart. That's Kyle. What's up, guys? Um, we're just all hanging out. Do they use actors and musicians outside of St. Louis? They do. Most of us are from New York. Love you, Rob. What's up? What's up? That's Alexa. Hey, guys. They're all amazing. Um, yes, yeah, so we're all, most of us are New York-based. Most of us are Broadway actors. Uh, and, um, but... They'll use, they have a, a program called the Muni Teens, and it's like their summer program. Sometimes they'll let uh, some of them uh, be in some of the shows in the summer, but it depends on the size of the cast and the need for youth. Uh, so you're on Broadway, Ashlyn. Yes, uh, I've been in six Broadway shows. Um, uh, I'm Not Rappaport, Avenue Q, uh, Chaplin, which I got nominated for a Tony for, uh, Honeymoon in Vegas, uh, The Noises Off Revival, and Something Rotten. Those are my six Broadway shows. Uh... Alexa, Alexa, oh yeah, Tahoe Girl. Uh, Alexa's crazy good in this show. She does a number called Mr. Monotony that will take your breath away. Uh, not to brag, I know, I didn't mean to brag, but somebody asked what shows I had done, so I felt like I had to answer it. Um, favorite role, question mark? That's really hard. I've played some really great ones. Chaplin was a big one. His little hat and mustache comes everywhere with me. Um, Avenue Q, Tony Award, I know, right? Um, that's so awesome. Thanks, Love Rowan. Andrew's just chilling, following me around. He's the best. <laughs> um, so here's the cool thing about the Muni. I love all of those shows. I'm so glad. Um, the Muni cranks these shows out fast. We do these shows with 11 days of rehearsal. So right now, we are running currently on the stage. In the meantime, The Wiz is rehearsing on a platform outdoors. In the meantime, the Singing in the Rain cast gets here tomorrow and will begin their process. So at any given time during the summer, there are three shows happening at once on this space. And then as we close, The Wiz will move on to the stage, and the next show will show up, and they'll keep rotating all summer. It's a crazy factory of magic. Uh, it's really great. Uh, Stranger Things 11. I love Stranger Things. Are you kidding me? Uh, what was my first Muni show, Laura Frosty? My first Muni show was uh, Seymour in Little Shop of Horrors back in 2011. Uh, this is my eighth show at the Muni. I love it here. Um, so 
Let me show you guys uh, some of the stuff in the Muni. Uh, it's got some really amazing stuff. Also, guys, here's some other friends. There's Sarah Jenkins. Hi. There's Hillary. Hi. And Marina. And that's Maggie Lakis. You Hi. might know Maggie Lakis because that's my wife. <laughs> True. Isn't it? I love you. Love you. I'll see you in a little bit. Um, I love Little Shop. I know, right? Um, so, friends, I want to show you. First of all, this is the canteen. What theater do you know has a restaurant that is always open for the people who work there? It's pretty awesome. At any time in the day, you can go get a slice of watermelon, a tuna melt, um, and uh, continue your work. Uh, do you want to see some photos of shows I've done here? Here. Some of them are up here. Um, so here's the benefit of when you're working at an 11,000-seat outdoor theater. At the end of big numbers, you can do that. Yep. This place has had real fireworks. This place has had real helicopters in Miss Saigon. Uh, they've done some magical things here. Um, also, let me see if I can find some shots of stuff that I did. Uh, I'm sure that I can. Oh, here's Little Shop. We were just talking about Little Shop of Horrors, right? Um, there is me in Little Shop of Horrors. Me and the plant. Uh, guess who did the voice of the plant? Ken Page, who was the voice of Oogie Boogie in Nightmare Before Christmas. So that plant had an amazing voice. Uh, can we play a drinking game with you and watermelon mentions? I know, I love me some watermelon. Um, here's me as Lumiere in Beauty and the Beast. Pretty fun. Uh, Kate Rockwell of Mean Girls fame uh, was our belle in Beauty and the Beast. The first show I ever did was Anything Goes in high school. Um, let's see, there's some, oh, there's another one of me and Kate Rockwell. So Kate Rockwell, star of Mean Girls, there she is, as Belle, and there's me, as Lumiere in Beauty and the Beast. Good times. Uh, holy cannoli. What happens if it rains? Good question, Desert Taz. Um, sometimes you have to cancel the show. Uh, sometimes you just push through, sometimes you gotta cancel it. What? Question mark, Margie Torres. Um, so, I wanna show you guys the, uh, Laura Frosty, I wanna show you guys the paint deck. This is pretty amazing. So, this is where they paint these gigantic uh, booms, they call them, that, that double for their curtains. So they can't have show curtains here uh, because there's no roof to fly in a curtain. So instead they come in from the side, so they have to be hard. Uh, so these people paint these enormous portraits on these gigantic booms and this one is in progress this is by no means finished uh, but you see these guys walking around on here during the day with these really long paint sticks and they uh, paint these gorgeous gigantic portraits that for 11,000 seats uh, look pretty magical from out front uh, let me show you guys what it'll look like eventually this is what it looks like now those are those gigantic paintbrushes and chalk that I was telling you about but, um, so this thing that you're currently looking at will eventually look like this. Pretty amazing. A gigantic Hollywood boom. Can you guess which show that's for? I'm guessing Singing in the Rain. Uh, let's see. How was your French accent since you played Lumiere? Um, I would like to think that it wasn't offensive to actual French people, but was a little humorous. Uh, uh, let's see. Advice for young actors. Be yourself. Um, Megan, so beautiful. I know, right? Um, okay, so now we're walking out to the West Platform, which is a rehearsal space. The Wiz might actually be out here rehearsing, so shut up. <laughs> do they normally use a full orchestra? Not only do they use a full orchestra, uh, who asked that? sing with Darren. Not only do they use a full orchestra, they are committed to doing the original orchestrations of shows. So if that original orchestration had 40 pieces, they have 40 pieces. The original orchestration of Jerome Robbins Broadway is 29. We have 29 pieces, which is more than any Broadway show running right now. Um, this tour is so cool. Thanks, Margie. Let me know what you want to see. So right now, this is the West Platform, where they are mid-rehearsal for The Wiz. Um, what other theater rehearses outdoors? One where you need to build stamina to perform in 90 degree heat. I'm gonna climb up on this thing so you guys can see. What if I fall and you all feel me like dying? Okay, so this is called the West Platform at the Muni.
you all see a lion tail? Guess who's playing the lion? Darius de Haas. Do you guys know who Darius de Haas is? If you're fans of the show Children of Eden, he's the guy doing those crazy riffs on Lost in the Wilderness. He's right over there rehearsing. Uh, I can't tell you how many people I hear sing Lost in the Wilderness for auditions and all try and sound as good as that man sounded on that album. Pretty intense. Uh, where are you from? Which state? I'm originally from New Jersey, Ashlyn. Uh, hope to see you tonight. I'm from Kansas City. Awesome. Please, Darren, come. Be careful. Thank you, Margie. Uh, awesome. So that is the uh, cast of The Wiz rehearsing on the West platform. Um, let me bring you guys on stage. How does that sound? Andrew, how does that sound? I'm all for it. Andrew's the man. He's such a good sport, too. I like. I, we were going to walk around and show him around, and now he's like coming on a, this awesome tour with us. The more people, the merrier. I know, right? Andrew's a sweetheart. You guys need to check out that Harmony Helper app. HarmonyHelperApp.com. You'll find out more about it. Um, and if you go to Harmony Helper's channel on YouTube, you can see uh, a little thing we put together for Broadway Con. Uh, it was pretty awesome. It explains the app. Uh, let's see. Awesome. So now we're backstage at the Muni. Look at that. Oz. Looks like a hot air balloon to me. Look at this gigantic space. And you can see where they've been painting things. Okay, brace yourself, y'all. Everybody ready to see the front of the, the actual front of this theater? It's intense. So cool. Thanks for taking us along. You're welcome, Desert. Uh, let's see, Laura Frosty. Love your shirt. Oh yeah, here's my shirt. It's Beaker and David Bowie combined into one. It's a, all the things I love. How much harder is it to sing and dance in the hundred degree St. Louis heat, Aaron? It is really difficult. Um, more on that in a second. Okay, it all kinds of looks at looks amazing. Thank you, Karina. This is really cool. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, friends, brace yourselves, because you're about to see our view at the Muni. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? All right. Hi, Theater Dan. We're about to walk through the backstage behind the LED wall. Yes, there's an LED wall. Pretty amazing. To give you a view of what we see at the Muni. Are we ready? Here we go. This is upstage center. That is an LED wall. Those are actual trees. Yes, there are trees growing out of the stage at the Muni. Are you ready to see our view of the audience? Brace yourselves. One. Two. Two and a half, two and three quarters, three. That is what it looks like to perform for 11,000 seats. Intense. Will you go live at your seat run today? Yes, Karina, I will. I'll be doing my seat run from 6.30 to 7.30 uh, in St. Louis's time zone. Uh, guys, that's Lindsay Bell. That's Lindsay Bell. Um, Lindsay Bell is in the show. She's extraordinary. Aww. She's <laughs> remarkably good. Uh, you guys need to come check her out. She's so good. Are you on Instagram? She's in, I am on Instagram. At Lindsay Bell, I'm guessing? Libell. Libell. What is that? L-I-B-E-L-L. -L Follow Lindsay Bell. She's amazing. <laughs> Um, we're lucky that we're lucky to have you around. She's so good in the show. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to continue to give you. Uh, I, you just gasped out loud. I know, Darren. It is really breathtaking. I'm also on. Uh, here's a fun fact. I'm on the world's largest turntable. Did you get that? The world's largest turntable. Uh, what is a seat run, Ashlyn? So, uh, good question. Um, so. About 10 years ago, I started running the seats of a theater, like a sports stadium, to vocally warm up. Uh, usually it only takes about 15 minutes in a seat in an average Broadway theater, which is about 1,500 seats. When it's 11,000 seats, it takes an hour. I start down at the bottom, and I will run every single row and touch every single seat all the way up into the back. Those, those last 1,000 seats, they give away for free. People are right now online picnicking 
uh, hanging out in the park, waiting all day to get those last thousand seats, which are free. They give away more free seats every performance than most Broadway houses have in their in the theater total. Uh, it's an extraordinary thing. So later at 6:30, uh, join me on that seat run. Hello, Lindsay. What? That's nifty. I know, right, Laura? Um, so this is yes, like I said, the world's largest turntable, gigantuant. Um, later on, I'll see if I can jump on here while they do a little rotation, but it is huge. Um, how many of you have done shows where they have numbers along the front of the stage for spacing? Usually it starts with zero in the middle and it goes out two, four, six, eight, every two feet, two feet, four feet, six feet. Most theaters, as you're doing your dance numbers, uh, those numbers will range from about zero to probably about 18, which means that your proscenium is a little over 35 feet ish. Uh, let's take a look at how large the Muni stage is. Well, here's zero. Let's start going out every two feet. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, and then we probably have about 15 more feet before you're in the wings. That makes this proscenium arch over 80 feet wide. That is enormous. So imagine if you need to cross this stage in like an eight count, you have to get 80 feet in eight counts of music. It's a huge feat. Uh, cosmic, I can't even get out of bed in the morning and you run 11,000 seats every day. <laughs> well, I don't go to the gym. I replace going to the gym with that. Uh, what show is performing, Taurus? It's Jerome Robbins Broadway, the first production of Jerome Robbins Broadway in 30 years, opening the Muni's 100th season. It's incredible. Uh, I've seen them. Awesome. What do you do if it starts raining? Well, there's no roof. So sometimes you have to cancel the show. That stinks. But the forecast this week is all beautiful at the Muni. Awesome. What celebrities have I met? I've been really lucky. I've met a bunch. Uh, backstage at Broadway shows, everybody from Tom Hanks to, God, to um, a bunch. When we were doing Honeymoon in Vegas, I got to meet, uh, you know, Danny DeVito and Jason Alexander and Christopher Lloyd and, uh, and I, every Broadway celebrity you guys can think of. Most of them are good friends of mine. Uh, let's see. Thanks for coming to Providence. I had a great time with the Something Rotten tour. Okay, how's Lynn? Are you asking about Lynn manuel Miranda? He is a friend of mine. I love that man. Uh, he's a genius. We all know that. Uh, do they do, do they have an Instagram account? Taurus, they absolutely do. At the Muni, M-U-N-Y, at the Muni. My Instagram is at McClure Rob, M-C-C-L-U-R-E-R-O-B. You can follow me and the Muni to get adventures on Jerome Robbins Broadway all week. But I will be here all day showing you guys what it's like to do a show on the Muni stage during their centennial season. Um, so here's, uh, I'm going to end this live here with this gorgeous view of these 11,000 seats behind me. Uh, they will all be full tonight for our fourth performance of Jerome Robbins Broadway. Uh, I hope to see you at the Muni. Uh, if you're not in St. Louis and can't come, continue following me all day on Broadway Box's Instagram. Uh, I'll be sure to keep you guys uh, in the loop all night. Uh, write me messages. on. Uh, I posted a picture of me on their regular postings. Uh, feel free to post any questions you guys have for me there. I'll take any requests you guys, ha you guys have. Feel free to send messages. Get in touch with us any way you can, either on my personal Instagram or here on broadwaybox.com. Um, and, uh, and I will happily uh, take any requests you guys have for the rest of the day. No, don't go. I'm sorry, James. I'll be here all day. Uh, so uh, please keep in touch, and I'll be happy to uh, hang out with you guys for the rest of the day at the Muni in Forest Park. See you guys soon.